All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, King Casey O'Neal! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Manon the Beast Fiona! Ready. Ready. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.E. I lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. O'Neal gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Nice land with the punch by her there. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. O'Neal gets hit with that overhand. It won't take many of those. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice job by the kickboxer there to stay upright. That takedown attempt really put her on the floor earlier in her mixed martial arts career. She's working hard. Yeah, she's working very hard at getting better, but you can see the awareness now. Her understanding of how to move defensively whenever she gets hit with a takedown attempt. Beautiful to see her evolution inside the octagon. Nice punch there by Casey O'Neill. Hard shots landing on both sides here. She's staying busy here, connected with those punches. O'Neal gets hit with a kick. Great job landing the left hand. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. O'Neal's in half guard now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question right hand after right hand from the top position. Your getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Final minute of round one. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, she's got it locked in. That looks painful. She has so many ways to finish. Strike lands from the top. Defense held up there. She blocks that shot. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. She's hurt. Big right hand. Oh, and 
with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Good work from the top here by Casey O'Neill. And there it is again. Her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. O'Neill's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, nice. Good. Gets back up again. Nicely done. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed. Strike right there, DC. Great shot. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> she's getting up. Yep. So just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good. Oh, she's in the now. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now, oh! power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. This is a terrible position. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Oh, big shots raining down. Submission. What a submission attempt. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and not before, J.H. She's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive uh, shot. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her off. O'Neal gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for a defensive box. Awesome level change, great timing. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. Side control now. Beautiful job on the ground. That strike opened her up. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Under two minutes in our third and final round. 
Bjorn's back into full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, this is some high level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Casey O'Neill. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Ooh, it's tight. One minute now to go in our third and final round. And now she's in mode. Oh. All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet, and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high-level grappling that these two women just exhibited for them. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. O'Neal's now dealing with a cheap cut. Now the fight goes the distance, and ladies and gentlemen, that is how you end a fight. It's a close one. It's going to be a close one. The official decision is now in and resides with Bruce Buck. Score cards for decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Manon the Beast Pion! Well, I'm not sure if she can realize a world title in the UFC, but tonight, Daniel, for this kickboxer, was a huge step in the right direction. I'm not sure she's going to run into a more well-rounded fighter than she faced here tonight. And that proved, John, that proved that she is able to compete with the best of the best. Because if there was a matchup that on paper was difficult for her, it was this one. And she won, and she won impressively. What a performance by this young lady.